a little bit. Flatten it out, that pigment goes pretty deep. I'm going to see if I can get some of it out of there. It's about as deep as I dare go. I can tell you that this one has pigment that goes so deep that I'm never going to get the whole thing out without making a scar. And I probably already went deeper than I prefer to. But I don't think that's necessarily representative of some of these other more superficial ones. That's the worst one, of course. But let's see how she responds down here. That's more what I was expecting. But it just goes right away. Beautiful. Beautiful. That one was just a skin tag. It's gone. If I happen to hit one that I didn't numb up, you remind me, okay? <laughs> you might notice that I might not. It's too hard for me just to do a test spot. I want to do a whole bunch. Hey. Okay, so okay, so we're finished. So uh, this is uh, so these responded exactly like I expected them to. Mm -hmm. Where's our hand over here? Look. Nice. See, these responded like I expected them. This one up here, the pigment goes way deep. Mm -hmm. The only way for me to get that one cleaned up is to actually make a small, full, thick, full thickness excision with the blade. So. So the surgery didn't help that one very much. I mean, it probably reduced it by 20 or 30 percent, but that one's still fixable. But I think that the vast majority of these are the same thing you have on down here. Mm -hmm. So we'll just see how these respond to healing. Okay. And uh, if they do, I think we can get rid of that. A skin tag, and we're going to take them off. We actually got two of them, uh, one on the upper, one on the lower. My buddy Andy, I'm going to call him Dr. Andy. Was going to remove those for me, free and, uh, of charge. Free of charge, by the way, and uh, you can back away. <laughs> He's not going to be able to see. He's not. Oh, okay. I, the camera's not. So we've cleaned it all up, and uh, we've got some tissue paper. And if we have to pack it with flour, we'll pack it with flour. He's going to grab it with a pair of tweezers, and he's going to lance it. He's got a razor at my neck. Oh. <clears throat> Turn it over and see it. Where was I? So we're going to pull him out with a pair of tweezers and he's going to cut it off with a razor. Hope he's fast. There's one. Oh my god, the vampire's going to love me. And he's going to pull two. Another skin tag. This one's going to bleed a little more. It's substandard surgery here. <laughs> we meant to actually really record when 
the cyst was taken out of my back, but we didn't do that. We missed it. And uh, I got that, so you can see. Those are skin tags on my neck. Then we're going to pack them just like you would a, uh, a shaving cut. We're demonstrating radio frequency uh, surgery for removes, uh, cosmetic removal of moles and other facial lesions. On this patient, we have uh, some benign moles are removed with the uh, radio frequency loop. I'm going to start off with this mole on his face right here. It's already been anesthetized, which is why it has that blanched, uh, whitish look to it. This is a sculpting procedure that the loop itself doesn't get hot, it just um, vaporizes tissue. Along with a sculpt lesion right down. Now you feel anything there? Yeah, I do. That does hurt? Let me get some more anesthetic then. It wasn't. Real bad. Oh no. Let's get hold of it. Yeah, Räcker inte nu. Oh my god. See like it's like a little thing in the middle. 